most people don't worship the Holy Ghost but we are changing the way people oh, worship God, God and if you follow me day. along here I'll take you into it Holy Ghost, your God Ghost is God in the earth today Ghost, and you walk God with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining the us if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe Jesus down below right if this isn't your first time here and this message has been a blessing to you consider God becoming a partner with us today. well let's pray first Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are God in the earth today and we have the honor to be able to serve you in this day and this hour thank you for what you're doing to us here and to people that visit us online that you're revealing yourself to them as God and as they begin to worship you their life will be changed and we will all enter into a new place in the spirit that there's never been before and we thank you for it in Jesus name amen first Corinthians chapter 2 and let's read from verse 1 and I brethren this is Paul speaking here and I brethren when I came to you came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom declaring unto you the testimony of God for I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified that makes it seem like Paul had determined before he went in among them to make sure that he didn't talk about anything except Jesus Christ and him crucified other translations don't say that at all he was determined or had predetermined that he wasn't gonna find anything except that mm -hmm. he was gonna come among this group of believers and they were not gonna know anything anything except Jesus Christ and him crucified and the reason is is because and you can check this out in Acts chapter 19 and 18 and 19 Apollos was there and Apollos was preaching the baptism of John and Jesus Christ and him crucified mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so he went in there knowing they were gonna know about Jesus and him crucified but he had to go in there and reveal to them the person of the Holy Ghost and his power Amen. and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in revealing that literally what the demonstration means an open show of the spirit and of power mm -hmm. so revealing the spirit the person of the Holy Ghost say person. person person of the Holy Ghost and power so you had the person of the Holy Ghost needed to be revealed which needs to be revealed to people who only know about Jesus Christ and him crucified mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus sent the Holy Ghost into the earth now we need to have a revelation of him my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the Spirit we know the Spirit is the Holy Ghost and of power or the Holy Ghost's power verse 5 that your faith mm -hmm. up till this point they'd only had a faith of in Jesus Christ and him crucified mm -hmm. but now he's saying that your faith would not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of who God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. so he was preaching a faith or you could say a belief right that's what your faith is is believing or your faith could be called a religion mm -hmm. your religion your belief system would be in who the Holy, the Holy Ghost now that sounds real different to a lot of people but that's what Paul was saying here that your faith may be in or your religion may be in or your belief system may be in you understand your belief system is your religion your religion is what you believe mm -hmm. what should it be in the power of God the Holy Ghost your religion is the way you worship God Holy Ghost said to me not too long ago he said bring them into the worship of me worship of you who you say the worship of the Holy Ghost what's your religion the way you worship God bring them into the worship of me most don't worship the Holy Ghost 
you probably knew that already mm -hmm. most people don't worship the Holy Ghost but we are changing the way people worship God is this fun yet yeah. I'm certainly changing the way you worship God and if you follow me along here I'll take you into it if you say you know the Spirit of God that he is God but you don't worship him as God then you really don't know him because if you knew him as God you would worship him most people have a veil over their eyes where they can't see him as God and therefore don't worship him as God and that veil is put up there by religious thinking and religious doctrine that doesn't allow them to go there if you do say that you believe he's God and know him as God then prove it open your mouth and begin to worship him and say the words I worship you Holy Ghost that alone will begin to set in motion many of the things I'm going to talk about tonight are you here yes. this is a good message second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is that spirit when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is the veil's taken away and that curtain is being opened up now the Lord is open the curtain that spirit you know how many people be shocked by that mm -hmm. you know how many people are shocked when the Holy Ghost shows up as a person and says hey how are you doing mm -hmm. it's a brand new revelation they haven't had yet but he's God he's a person and he's in the earth today now the Lord is who that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is there is Liberty you could say where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty or freedom or you could say where the Spirit Lord is who's the Spirit Lord Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost in the earth today verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord what Lord are we talking about Holy Ghost. has to be the same one Holy Ghost mm -hmm. are you here beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord we're looking at him the Holy Ghost are changed say changed. changed so what's the main part of this verse of Scripture is change who's changed mm -hmm. we're changed what changes the way we see him the way we know him our thinking changes say our thinking changes our thinking and our believing changes and the way we walk with God changes mm -hmm. you could even say your belief system if my believing if my believing changes what would that be that be my my the my religion changes mm -hmm. what you believe your belief system mm -hmm. is changing mm -hmm. are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit Lord so we're changed we're changed by the Spirit Lord we're changed by acknowledging him as Lord we're changed by knowing him as the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit Lord are you getting this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is it a change is that a big change to where most people might be it's a huge change we are changed by knowing him as the Spirit Lord <laughs> does that sound funny to your ears mm -hmm. because it's a change it's uncomfortable but you knew it was right you knew you had to go there so we're changed by knowing him as the Spirit Lord Adam knew the Spirit of God as Lord Enoch knew him as the Spirit Lord most people don't know the Spirit of God as the Spirit Lord in our day and age did you know that Jesus knew him as the Spirit Lord Luke chapter 4 this is Jesus it's in red letters the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach mm -hmm. the Spirit Lord same words the Spirit Lord is on me because he say he, he. meaning he knew him as a person and he was following him Does this make sense yeah. If we're gonna go from glory to glory if you remember that right right we behold him we're going from glory to glory we're being changed by his Lordship you could say from glory to glory we must believe in change 
say believe in change. Believe in change. Well, I don't believe in change. I believe in having the same thing the way it always has been. If that's what you believe, you can't be changed. Your believing has to change. So if we're going to go from glory to glory, we have to go from belief to belief. We have to go, we have to believe in change. Those who don't believe in change can't go from one glory to the next glory. They're stuck. So I must change my thinking. I must change my speaking. And I change my believing. And then I can change the glory that I live in. I'm living in a different glory than I used to live in because my thinking has changed and my speaking has changed and my believing has changed mm -hmm. and one of the main things I'm going to talk about tonight is the fact that I now use my mouth to worship the Holy Ghost I've changed my thinking that has changed my thinking and I now live in a different glory than what I used to so the Holy Spirit said I have attached success to these things speaking and believing the Holy Ghost has attached success to speaking and believing so if you refuse to speak or say something new you can't believe something new and you can't go to the next level of glory does this make sense yes. so if we're walking around with the Holy Ghost and we're only saying one thing that'll only take us to one level of believing and that level of glory I have attached success to these things speaking and believing if you refuse to say something new or different than what you've been saying mm -hmm. then you can't go there if you don't worship the Holy Ghost or use the words I worship you Holy Ghost then you can't go to where that will take you but if you do use the words I worship you Holy Ghost speaking and believing what are you going to be believing if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost that he's God, that he's God mm -hmm. in the earth today mm -hmm. does this make sense yes. and if I use those words I can then go to where those words or that believing will take me yeah but I, I was taught not to worship the Holy Ghost have you heard this you were taught wrong imagine if you will that the Holy Ghost is God I know this is a stretch for some people <laughs> just imagine that the Holy Ghost is God and he say he he, he came into the earth to be with you right. imagine this if he is God and he came he came into the earth to be with you but your doctrine keeps you from worshiping him imagine that and your doctrine would keep you from the results that worshiping him would produce for you in this life say in this life because he's with you are you seeing this because there's a result and there's an effect that it has on you change 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 number one two and three when you worship him you change your thinking changes your doctrine changes your believing changes so there are results that can only come from that speaking these words I worship you Holy Ghost does something to you it puts you in agreement with him as God it puts you in the position of being a temple of the Living God who's in you the Holy Ghost are you getting this yes. now remember speaking and believing is how the Holy Ghost causes you to be a success causes you to go to the next level of glory so speaking these words these new words will take you to a new place that you hadn't been yet a new level of glory Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God does your Bible tell you to worship the Lord your God yes. yeah thou shalt worship the Lord thy God the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and thou shalt worship him now the Lord is that spirit thou shalt worship him 
and him only shalt thou serve worship makes the and available you say that again worship makes the and in that verse available to you thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve without the first part of the verse you can't have the him only shall you serve part come are you getting this yeah. it's when you worship him that the and is open to you how are you gonna him only shall you serve if you don't even know who you're serving and who it is you're worshiping right so the worship opens you up to be able to serve the Lord your God only it enables you the worship enables you to serve the Lord your God the worship transforms you to serve the Lord your God and him only shall you serve the number one part of serving is that you the act of you actually worshiping him worship transforms you into something different and if you don't do the worship say do the worship, do the worship. you can't have the transformation mm -hmm. you can't go to the next thing mm -hmm. it's not available to people who don't worship god Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God now you're presenting your body right mm -hmm. who are you presenting your body to the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost because he's God mm -hmm. who's the God in your body living God Holy Ghost right so you're presenting your body to God the Holy Ghost a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto him God which is your reasonable service that can be translated spiritual worship so the number one thing you do to present your body to God is to give him spiritual worship mm -hmm. is your mouth part of your body yes. yeah what should, what should you do with your mouth then you should say I worship you God I worship you Holy Ghost and then look what happens verse 2 now remember I said that worship in Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall you serve right mm -hmm. the worshiping of God made the and available look at this which is your reasonable service your spiritual worship and verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye what transformed so the worshiping of the Holy Ghost causes you to be transformed mm -hmm. you are being transformed when you worship the Holy Ghost that you be transformed by the renewing of your mind does it renew your mind yeah. it renews your thinking it causes you to think differently it causes you to believe differently what spiritual worship worshiping the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and that you prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God so here we see steps and levels that we go from one to the next mm -hmm. is it acceptable to worship God yeah. is it acceptable to worship the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. if you don't have your thinking changed you can't have that acceptability or being ex having that to be acceptable to you you know how many people that's not acceptable to because of the religious doctrine that's unacceptable you worship the Holy Ghost that's unacceptable then they can't go to perfect mm -hmm. because you're transformed by worshiping him from good to acceptable to perfect yeah somebody got that who so we worship him with words predominantly you worship God with your mouth mm -hmm. we walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today by saying words some of the words we should be saying are I worship you Holy Ghost mm -hmm. you getting this so we worship him by saying words mm -hmm. say I worship him I worship by him. saying I words. words well if your religion keeps you from saying those words you can't go to where those words will transform you or take you mm -hmm. but you're not like that you can go to where those words will take you mm -hmm. 
what words you say i worship you holy ghost worship is like a chrysalis that you enter into and are changed mm -hmm. you know about the butterfly right mm -hmm. they go into this chrysalis state and they stay in there say they stay in there they stay in there, they stay in there long enough until they're changed into the next thing mm -hmm. that's literally what the word uh transform me uh be ye transformed mm -hmm. comes metamorphosis metamorphosis mm -hmm. literally talking about the caterpillar being turned into a butterfly mm -hmm. it goes from one state to the next and you go from glory to glory you go from good to acceptable to perfect you got to stay there long enough until you're transformed you getting this mm -hmm. you got to worship the holy ghost long enough until you're transformed till all that old religious garbage gets out of you mm -hmm. takes a while some of us have a lot more religious garbage than others mm -hmm. but he'll get rid of it right mm -hmm. you stay in there long enough until the transformation is complete and you become a holy ghost worshiper what happens when you worship the holy ghost long enough you become a holy ghost worshiper what good is that oh there's a lot of good to it because now i walk around with god in the earth today and i'm fulfilling my part as his temple mm -hmm. is this any good mm -hmm. it changes your thinking it changes your believing it changes the way you see things using the words i worship you holy ghost initiates the process doesn't happen overnight does a caterpillar turn into a butterfly overnight no it has to enter into that state and then it transforms mm -hmm. i using the words i worship you holy ghost or beginning to worship the holy ghost as god initiates the process it is sowing to the spirit something new it is saying words that are new that will take you to a new place a new glory is this making sense mm -hmm. Well, if you're sowing to the spirit something new what are you going to reap something new. something new what's the new thing you're going to reap say you you will be new your thinking gets new i testify to the fact my thinking is different than what it used to be and that is from worshiping the holy ghost right. has begun to change the way i think which begins to change the way i believe if you're sowing something new can you understand that you're sowing something new yes. a lot of people have never heard those words before it's never entered into their ear that they should worship the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. when they use those words I worship you Holy Ghost you're sowing new words to the Spirit of God and you're gonna reap something new the thing you reap is new thinking new believing new transformations you get transformed from glory to glory and new experiences say new experiences. new experiences they won't be the same experiences that you had sowing other things mm -hmm. you're sowing something new you're going to reap a different thing mm -hmm. there are experiences that are required for transformation you know, everybody would not argue this point if you said oh you got to have an experience you need to be born again is that an experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you got that by sowing word how about when you got filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues would you call that an experience yes. mm -hmm. yeah there are experiences that are required for transformation without which there is no change mm -hmm. so there are experiences certain experiences required for transformation now change is not comfortable it's never comfortable because you're doing something new it just doesn't feel right mm -hmm. you've tried brushing your teeth with your left hand if you're right-handed it's weird isn't it mm -hmm. but if you do it long enough you probably get good at it right it's just I'm just trying to explain that there's things when you start to say I worship you Holy Ghost it's gonna feel awkward at first because you've never done it before mm -hmm. but if you keep going in keep pressing in it'll begin to do something to you it'll change you what if I begin to speak in tongues and I'm in a in a camp or in a in a religion or in a group of people who don't speak in tongues mm -hmm. I'm gonna end up having to go outside of that camp mm -hmm. eventually right yes. mm -hmm. they might require you to leave mm -hmm. 
many of us have had those experiences same thing if you start to say i worship you holy ghost and you're in a group of people that don't go there you may have to go outside of that camp mm -hmm. doesn't mean you don't love them and appreciate them for where they're at mm -hmm. but if you're worshiping the holy ghost and they're not then they can't go to where you're going mm -hmm. and sometimes it'll require you or it'll seem like you're having to go outside the camp but you're inside this camp if you do take heart there are plenty of people that are beginning to worship the Holy Ghost in the earth today and we have our own camp it's just making sense and we've ex we're experiencing things that other people are not going to experience for all of the reasons that I've just said up till now mm -hmm. if you're still here mm -hmm. you will experience things new things that you've never experienced before because you're sowing things to the spirit that haven't been sown before and you will be transformed into something that you've never been transformed into before i worship you holy ghost or using the words i you worship you holy ghost unlocks that door you ever see those old keys that have a, a weird weird shape on the end just picture that i worship you holy ghost or those words all those letters i w y h g on the end of that key and you use it to unlock that door worshiping the holy the problem is when you open the door it looks like you're going outside <laughs> looks like you're leaving the old place you are leaving the old place you're going to the new but if you want to go from one glory you got to leave the old glory behind to go to the new glory right. we're going there yes that door leads outside the camp but it's not outside of scripture and according to hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 it says let us go on some people aren't going on they are happy with the old thing that they're with but you are not alone Say, I'm not alone you're not the only one doing this I testify to the fact I worship the Holy Ghost join me I'm testifying is my testimony worthless I don't think so my testimony is as good as anybody else's maybe even better but I testify to the fact that through worshiping the Holy Ghost I've been able to go through doors and to, to go to another level of glory and another level of belief that I had not been it before mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost himself bears witness did you hear that a lot of people hear it I get I get letters all the time I read one this morning this evening whatever time it is mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is bearing witness with them this is the way to go mm -hmm. this is the way to go walk ye in it the Holy Ghost bears witness that these things are true and people from all over the world are stepping behind that veil that has been there for years and seeing him him who him the Holy Ghost as God as a person worshiping him the Spirit Lord in a new and living way you could say it's a new form of worship if people have not been worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and you start to worship the Holy Ghost as God like a whole bunch of us are is it a new form of worship yes. it is I'm offering you a real Holy Ghost experience not just an anointing we all know about the anointing many of us have experienced the anointing I've experienced the anointing many 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 times in many many various areas either being healed or speaking in tongues or whatever happens to be falling out that's the anointing well in fact I'm anointed for this message mm -hmm. so you can experience some of the anointing just on this message me saying these things to you welcome but that's the anointing the Holy Ghost is not an anointing right. he is God he's a person you will experience the Holy Ghost personally say I will, I will experience the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost personally. personally not just his anointing we're all familiar with the anointing on one level or another you will experience the Holy Ghost personally you and him as a person mm -hmm. knowing him as a person this is what I'm talking when you use the words I worship you Holy, will that be transforming to you will that change your life will you go from one level to a next level if you meet the Holy Ghost as a person how could it not change you mm -hmm. you would be changed mm -hmm. using the words I worship you Holy Ghost causes that change mm -hmm. puts you in the position of him looking at you 
and you looking at him and like I said I worship you Holy Ghost unlocks him as God to you are you getting this yes. <laughs> he will come and visit you when you worship him and use the words I worship you Holy Ghost he will come right into your house or right where you are and visit you and look at you I've had that experience so many times I don't even know now when most of it's usually while I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost he'll just come into the room and look at me I'm telling you he will come and visit you he looks at you and you will know him as a person that's different than an anointing that's you meeting the Holy Ghost are you getting this is that life-changing yes. that experience is different than an anointing can you see this mm -hmm. meeting him as a person is different than just knowing an anointing or, or experiencing an experiencing an anointing you're experiencing him as a person mm -hmm. if you continue worshiping him you're gonna be transformed from glory to glory even as by the Spirit Lord or the Spirit of the Lord you're gonna see things differently you're gonna talk differently you're gonna believe differently you'll certainly have a new belief system people would even say it's a new religion because you're worshiping the Holy Ghost and other people aren't when you worship him things change you change he didn't change but you change and he'll come and visit you and you will have an experience that transforms mm -hmm. there's certain experiences that you have to have to go to the transformation that needs to take place in you mm -hmm. I can never say that the Holy Ghost isn't God in the earth today and he isn't a person anymore because I've met him and I know him mm -hmm. I've been transformed into a Holy Ghost worshiper regularly people write in oh the Holy Spirit isn't isn't a person I understand that most people it's just not it's some people will preach that but they haven't had the experience yet so they don't they can't go to where I'm talking about But when you begin to worship him as God he will reveal himself to you as God you will have that experience and it's transforming are we getting this so you are not here by accident you know I hear this all the time oh I just bumped into your I bumped into your sermons or whatever you are not here by accident I have told certain angels to go out and get you to move upon you to bring you in mm -hmm. and I'm anointed to bring people into the worship of the Holy Ghost he told me bring them into the worship of me mm -hmm. well with those words I'm anointed to do it mm -hmm. so I sent angels out to get you and they did and I've asked the Holy Ghost to go and visit you so that you can know him and worship him as God and when you do things will begin to change for you you'll be radically altered into a new person a new worshiper of the Holy Ghost so I've asked the Holy Ghost to go and visit you that you may know him and use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and when you begin to use those words the transformation begins to happen and we're glad about it yes it's a great day hallelujah Amen. and when you use those words i worship you holy ghost begin to say all things work together for good for me so you say I worship you Holy Ghost and then you say all things work together for good for me let's try that out I worship you, I worship you. Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost all things, all things work, together work together for good for, good. for me Amen. in Jesus name, in Jesus name. let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are being changed that these words are affecting them supernaturally and as they use those words I worship you Holy Ghost I ask you to visit them and begin to rewire them that they may know you and walk with you as God the living God in the earth today things will never be the same in Jesus name Amen
your God.